No, and that's a good idea necessarily. And you look at the, uh, it worked in 1987 for Vern. 1987? <laughs> 30 but, years ago. Wait a minute. Hey, hang on just a second. John. John Johnson. The misfit John Johnson. If I could borrow you just for a minute before you get ready for, the, for your match this evening. I want to know if you're aware of some of the edicts coming down from the, the hierarchy, the office here at the American Wrestling Federation about your behavior, attacking opponents after the matches, especially when you've lost. The, the new executive director, Tony DiNucci, has said that he's going to issue fines, suspensions possibly. Are you taking this seriously? Do you get it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say that uh, Mr. Gunner is going to have his hands full here with Apostle 13, and I've got an issue with you. What in the world are you doing demeaning the great sports fans here in the state of Wisconsin? I don't understand what you're talking about. I know plenty about sports. I'm a sports aficionado. I, I play slow pitch softball. I play fantasy football, and I excel at both of those. And I think my my knowledge of things like that should be brought to the wide audience of the AWF. What a horrible thing to suggest that the Green Bay Packers, their wide receivers, you stick them to catch the passes of Aaron Rodgers. You're out of your you're out of your mind. You know you have to make up for the lack of mechanical ability on the football field. Just like just like Apostle 13 for some reason has some mechanical success right now. Surprising me quite frankly. Oh drop kick right to the sternum. Gunner was actually seated on look at Gunner has no idea. He's a, he's about 15 seconds into the matchup and he has no idea what planet he's on right now. Early on here, watch this Apostle 13. What a tremendously gifted, oh, superstar here in the American Wrestling Federation. That luchador style, and I'm looking at the expression on Gunner, and I think he would just as soon get out of Dodge as soon as possible. He doesn't know where he is. It's early on in the contest, Mick. Apostle 13 right now, I think might be making a mistake going to the second rope there. I mean, what? Wait a minute, in for the cover, kind of two? Oh! That might have been a, a record fall here in the AWF. I, I guess I'm kind of impressed by the boldness of Apostle 13 taking charge so early in this match against a much bigger competitor in Gunner Clash. Gunner Clash there catches him with a couple of kicks to the short ribs, that time to the midsection. Gunner Clash, what does this guy have any offense? That he have, does he have an arsenal? Does he have anything? Come on. He, he looks like he just stumbled out of, oh, pinned in the corner. Oh, wait a minute. Cheap shot. What? Low blow. What? Wait a minute. Wait a second. There's no way. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, Wait a, wait a minute. What a piece of malarkey that was. Gunner Clash who had no signs of life whatsoever. The referee gets sidetracked for a minute. That low kick, that low blow, and Gunner Clash steals one in about a minute and a half. What a great upset there, Mick. I'm impressed by that comeback. Be sure to catch the upcoming American Wrestling Federation action when it comes to a venue near you. El Muerte has jumped your borders once again to jump over to AWF to wrestle any one of you stupid gringos who comes from the locker room to take me on. And then I'm gonna get out of this stupid country as fast as possible because I can't even drink the agua in this place.
While wrestling fans, the competitive juices and Tony Danucci, wait a minute, hang on just a minute. Tony Danucci couldn't stay out of the ring for too long here, just a moment. Got, a, got an issue here. Just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Referee Rob Page has gotten the word from AWF management that this contest is no disqualification. Oh, are you kidding me? No disqualification? I'm not sure what El Muerte had in mind when he challenged Tony Danucci a little bit earlier on, basically goaded the executive director of the AWF out of retirement, and now he may have gotten more than he bargained for on no disqualification. Uh, this is uh, preposterous. What minion did this executive director hire to tell Rob Page in his earpiece at the absolute last second that this is no disqualification? Muerte isn't prepared for this type of a match. Oh. That's a 300 pound shove there. Look at, oh, look at Danucci. Oh, did they, oh, Muerte. This is, this is awful. Mick, Mick, Muerte was ready for a scientific wrestling match tonight. I, oh no. Danucci oh, over the, wait, you, don't tell me he was ready for a scientific wrestling match. He came out here and he got in the face of Tony Danucci, the executive director of the American Wrestling Federation. Danucci's retired, or at least he was, until this goofball goaded him into a, a comeback. Yeah, he was ready for a amateur style oh, scientific God. match, not ready to have his throat thrown over a steel railing. Tony Danucci should be barred for the sport of professional oh, wrestling. Oh, 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 no. Be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you wish for. He wanted Danucci, he's got him. I am a, I'm a bit sick to my stomach, man. You're a bit sickening to our stomach, as a matter of fact. Look at, watch Danucci. All the way around. Oh, God, oh. The Danucci chop, ladies and gentlemen. Legendary, oh no. Oh, darn. Darn, Danucci, Danucci tried to use a ring post to his advantage and it didn't quite work out. Is that the lesson Tony Danucci is trying to teach the youngsters here? That if you cheat, you do not succeed? Well, he's doing a pretty good job of that. I don't believe Tony Danucci is trying to teach any lessons to the youngsters. I think what he's trying to do is put a cork in the yap of El Muerte. I don't understand what you're talking about. The guy can barely speak English out here. He's, he's Danucci, he's been around here forever. Oh, the other guy. Oh, this is absolutely, I just want to talk about something here real quick. We got Tony Danucci as the executive director. I got to figure there was a consultant brought on. I got to figure there was a recruitment team. And this is the best they can come up with after a nationwide search. Everyone with the AWF should be embarrassed as I am. Well, the amazing thing is that, that you're still employed. Look at Danucci now being choked over that second rope by the 300 pound mass known as El Muerte. I wouldn't want to get into a fight with El Muerte, that's for sure. Uh, absolutely not. I believe my Spanish is a little rusty, but I leave that Muerte means death in Spanish. Am I correct? If it's between the last burrito on the table and, well, death, I guess, I guess I'd just give the burrito in that circumstance to Muerte. Look at, look at Muerte now. The fans at Hayward really getting on his case. The man had the audacity to come out here and, and call not only Tony Danucci, but the fans of our ringside here in the United States and Hayward Gringos. What's wrong with that? I, 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 I don't follow, Mick. What's the problem? You don't follow, Mick, did you? Whoa, whoa! Look at the plotting, methodical El Muerte shot right across the... Oh, oh, you're kidding me. You're look, kidding look at me. Look how graceful he is. That's, that's, that, oh. that, that, the way he's able to move around with that agility just, just brings a tear to my eye, Mick. And a pain to my ass, but that's another story altogether. Look at 300 pounds of Muerte standing on the throat, the Adam's apple of Tony Danucci. Tony couldn't stay away. I tell you what, as I said, the competitive juices, oh one challenge go. the man Here got. Here we go. What do you, what? I'm you gotta telling. Give the whole entire Tony Danucci sob story. Everyone's sick and tired of hearing it, Mick. Oh, nobody there. Look at the. Oh, no. He's lighting him up. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at that physique. Look at that physique. It's like you looking in a mirror. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my God. My God. 
You know, that's more of a Mel Muerte than I want to see. Oh, mama, put the kids to bed. He's got that stinking baseball bat well, club. Well, he's got to earn a living somehow. He earn a living. In the His rear end is hanging out. Talk about earning a living. Oh, it looks like it's going to end here for Tony Danucci. A submission hold applied in the Submission corners. hold. Everything is legal, but let's not call using a baseball pad around a man's Adam's apple a wrestling hold. Or, or what, or, as our mixed martial arts friends would say, a rear naked choke applied. Rear naked choking. Don't mention the word naked while Muerte's in the ring. We're getting close enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Get the Richter scale ready. Oh, this could be ugly. It already is. It could get worse. Look at Muerte, nobody there. Oh, oh he ran. Are you kidding? Into the bat. Look at Danucci. Oh, God. This isn't a back alley brawl. This is a wrestling match. It's a no disqualification match. Look at Danucci. Oh, what a, what a waste of a softball bat. I'm gonna need to use that in my league game. Danucci! Oh, God! Well, El Muerte, who actually died a slow death himself in the middle of that ring this evening, Danucci gets the Duke. Muerte came out here a little bit earlier on at the top of the program, wanted a match with Danucci, goaded him into it. He got it, not only did he get the match, he got a no disqualification match. He wound up in the ring with the blood vessels in his chest completely collapsed. Half of Manhattan, that big bulbous hind oh, end of his hanging out, and he's laying on the mat like a beached whale. Biggest, That's what he got. Biggest screw job I've ever seen in my life. Murte did not deserve this in his debut at the AWF, man. Look at the size of that guy, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody, somebody get a crane. Get a caterpillar in here. Wrestling fans, your TV main event is upon us. What a contrast in styles. As the nifty all-star Paul Bruski, great ring technician, does battle with the misfit John Johnson. Well, you talk about contrast in styles. How about contrast in win record, contrast in talent, and contrast and money made in professional wrestling. And I think John Johnson takes the cake in all of those strategies, in ca oh, stra I mean categories, Mick, you know. Possibly the reason being, the reason being that John Johnson has been in the business just a little bit longer than Paul Bruski, the all-star who was establishing a great track record, a great young lion in this business. And John Johnson, I have to talk about him a little bit, a little bit earlier on, I confronted him with some information from the AWF offices, and basically they said, you're on notice, pal. You're not gonna hit officials anymore. You're not gonna go after opponents after the match is over. You're not gonna do any of that. You're on thick. Now that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? Why would you bait a fan at ringside? You've said it before. John Johnson goes to the beat of his own drummer here. John Johnson makes his own decisions for how he wants to conduct himself. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with showing a bit of aggression and playing a few mind games with a hapless guy like Paul Bruski. Wait a minute, look at Bruski. You think the crowd is solidly behind Bruski? Wait a minute, is, is Johnson gonna finally remove the kilt? There, there he goes. Removing the kilt and the crowd here at, uh, at Hayward not real impressed with the lower appendages of uh, John Johnson the Misfit. The, the man puts, he can probably leg press 3,000 pounds. 
What are you talking about? Leg press 3,000 pounds, or what you consume in calories in a morning. Oh, wait, what a cheap... That was, that was awesome, Mick. Yeah, great wrestling move on the part. Oh! Brewski's not going to take any of it. Paul Brewski is a tough kid. The bell is rung already, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at Johnson. As I started to say a little bit earlier on, oh, Johnson has been warned for his tactics. The AWF has put him on notice. He's on thin ice. He could be 86th at any moment, fine, suspended, and he laughed at me, and you thought that was amusing. Well, I think we got to bring it back to you. You'd mentioned Paul Bruski as a kid. He's in there with a man, an experienced man, being John Johnson, and he thinks he's going to listen to Rob Page? He's going to listen to you? Going to listen to executive director Tony DiNucci? No, John Johnson can set his own rules in the ring. Until such time as he gets fired or suspended or fined. Maybe that'll wake him up because right now, Mere words apparently aren't getting the job done. Look at him with those right hands. On to Bruski in the corner, hard into the buckle. Open right hands, open right hands. The fans here at Hayward certainly took an instant dislike. To, wait a second, Bruski! Oh, reversal! That big medicine ball, that hemisphere-sized cranium of Johnson into the top buckle. He's got a, he's got a pretty nice haircut too, I've mentioned that before. Yeah, very similar, yeah. I wonder why you said that. Between the two of you, you could sit in a pumpkin patch for crying out loud and nobody would be any the wiser. I don't see why we need to get personal with this, Mick, but look at John Johnson just toying with the referee, toying with Paul Bruski, toying with these cheese heads here in Hayward. I can't believe I even crossed that border to come from my home city of St. Paul, Minnesota to, oh, this is just, this just smells different, Mick, doesn't it? It's your upper lip. What? Listen to the crowd picking up the chant, let's go Brewski here. Oh, Johnson doesn't like it, look at Johnson telling the fans about ringside. From eight to 80, dime, blind, deaf, or crazy, they don't like John Johnson no matter what. He calls himself the misfit, Diablo, the cynic, the mouse, it doesn't matter. What do you what do you got to talk about the deaf guy like that for? Oh, man. That is some authority. Johnson in for the cover. Lateral press. Didn't hook the leg. Bruski able to power. Oh, look at Johnson. Look at Johnson with that modified camel clutch now going in for a uh, combination surfboard and camel clutch. And Bruski is in trouble. Those are guns on John Johnson. Just look at that power now. Able to get... Full extension on that camel clutch, and Brewski's trying hard, but I, I don't know if you'll be able to get out of this, Mick. Brewski's in a vertical base right now, and there's a couple of elbow shots, three of them, four. Oh, Johnson with that head right to the back of the neck. You wanna, you wanna talk about medicine ball-sized cranium right now? Pretty effective in the ring, I must say. Well, no question about it. Oh, Johnson! Johnson a half a step, a half a step slow, and now can Brewski Maintain the offense. There's that knee right to the sternum. Bruski now. Big Bulldog. In my estimation, this would be a major upset here in the AWF. Bruski from the top. Oh, no. No. Come on, John. Come on. Kick out of that. No. Oh. I, I, I didn't think Paul Bruski was going to be able to take out Johnson so easily like that. There's no way. A half a beat away, a half a beat away from taking the measure of Johnson. Look at Johnson now. Oh, side slam. Look at Johnson. Johnson's just, just ready to pounce on this punk kid, Bruski. Johnson's, Johnson's ready to finish it off. Johnson gets that fire in his eyes, and I want to tell you something. There is no stopping him. Oh, he's got, wait a minute. Bruski, crucifix. Got him. What? What? Get. He's doing it again. Doing what? John Johnson is doing it again. He lost the match. The match is over. The guy is out of his mind. Well, Bruski's out of his mind right now after the, those shots. The hierarchy in the AWF have to take a long look at this. He's been warned that he doesn't care. He doesn't give a damn. 
Look at him. Look at him just toy with this punk. Who cares if you win or lose when you're putting up with this punishment? You lost the match for heaven's sakes. You lost the stinking match. Look at Johnson. Look at the expression on the face. Oh, good grief. This guy is nuts. Pure and simple. You want to get in there and tell him that, Mick? No, I'm not going to get in there. Security. You get in there. You tell him that he's nuts, Mick. I want to see what he does to you. Promotion's got to do something about this guy. He has lost it. He lost the match, and he lost his mind. We'll see you next week.